So, or at least two minutes, four minutes late. Since the bell. Um, but remember, guys, if we're going ahead and solving this, we can rewrite this as 4x squared equals 2. Right? Just go back to your algebra days. Right? Forget about the trig for a second. Just go back to algebra. Replace your trig function with an x or a y or whatever. Now, if we we're going to go and solve this, I would divide by 4. And I'd get x squared equals 2 over 4. Now, you could simplify this. But again, if you remember from simplifying and verifying, sometimes simplifying doesn't always make things easier. right? So, and so I want to see this, so therefore those of you that are looking at your phone can see how, this, how it helps not to simplify. When I introduce the square root here, remember that is plus or minus. That's where every single group got wrong. They forgot the plus or minus. That's square root of 2 over the square root of 4, which is plus or minus the square root of 2 over 2. Is that something right? you're familiar with? Now, if you simplified it to 1 half, you would have gotten this, plus or minus 1 over the square root of 2. And then what would you have done? You would rationalize the denominator. So actually, if you simplified it, you would have actually had to do more work. You would have had to simplify it and then rationalize it to get the same answer. All right. Um, so that's exactly the same process we're doing with algebra. That's the algebra like 1 method, right? You guys are just doing the same thing with trig. So sine squared of theta equals um, 2 over 4, square root, square root. Sine of theta equals plus or minus the square root of 2 over 2. Now, is this something that we're familiar with based on the unit circle? Yeah, square root of 2 over 2, I know where that is. So I draw the nice little unit circle. And I say plus or minus, square root of 2 over 2 is positive right here. Angles right here. Now again, this angle is pi over 4. Um, this angle and this angle. So we have pi over 4. We have 3 pi over 4. Uh, we have 5 pi over 4. And we have 7 pi over 4. Right? Yes? OK, now, could we write each one of those angles plus 2 pi? Because remember, sorry, the first, ex first answer we want to do is find all the solutions. So could I, could I, take, these, um, could I take these solutions, or I take this angle, and then find all of the solutions? So therefore, I take pi over 4 plus 2 pi n, 3 pi over 4 plus 2 pi n, 5 pi over 4 plus 2 pi n, 7 pi over 4 plus 2 pi n. Could you do that? Yes, and I'd give you credit for it, right? It's just not very simplified, though. So, what I kind of recognize here is, do you guys see that all of these angles are actually an even distance or equidistant away from each other? Yes, sir. How far are they away from each other? Pi. 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 Well, all the way around the circle is 2 pi. Halfway around the circle is pi. Half of that is? Two, two, pi. pi halves, right? So could we just start with the smallest positive angle and then just add pi halves? Watch. Pi over 4 plus pi halves, plus pi halves, plus pi halves, plus pi halves. Are we going to hit every single solution by adding pi halves in? Yeah. Yes. So my, all my solutions, guys, what are we doing, thetas? Theta equals pi over 4 plus pi halves in. <laughs> now, if you just took every single solution and added 2 pi in, you would get credit for it, but that's not going to show up on a multiple choice question. Like, this is the answer that would show up on multiple choice. So you just need to make sure you understand, recognize that. Um, let's go ahead and find all the solutions between 0 and 2 pi. Well, guys, that's just really the solutions that we have listed here. So I'll write that in set notation. So that's pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi. What about answer C, which is find all the solutions between 0 and negative pi halves? So again, remember, guys, 0 to negative pi halves is basically in the fourth quadrant. Do we have a solution that, is, that falls within the fourth quadrant? Yes. 7 pi over 4? No? Why can't we write 7 pi over 4? Why can't we write 7 pi over 4? Because it doesn't fall within the restriction. This is the restriction of the angle. The angle has to be between 0 and negative pi halves. 7 pi over 4, it does not fall within that restriction. The terminal side of that angle 
is within that restriction. But we need to find an angle that is in there. So we need to use the negative version, which would be negative pi over 4. And there you go. Okay. All right.